Hi there, Simon from SimonWizard.com. Uh, if you see me uh, smiling to myself, it's because I started doing the uh, the video and then I went, uh, uh, achoo, and I ended up sneezing. Uh, you didn't really need to know that, but you do now. Anyway, I've got two red Bordeaux here. Uh, it's almost like um, father and son or mother and daughter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're both from uh, Chateau Lagarde in Pessac Léonion. Uh, but one is the the um, main wine, so I've got the Chateau Lagarde uh, 2010, uh, and I've also got its uh, younger stablemate, La Terrasse de Lagarde. Uh, so I think it's what, what is it? It's a young vine, second wine of Chateau Lagarde, same benefits, blah blah blah, ideal location, blah blah blah. Anyway, let's just see what the difference is between them. Apart from the vintage, so this is 2013, the other one's 2010. Let's give the 2013 Terrasse a whirl. Well, you probably can't see the colour against uh, my, uh, I don't know what colour this is, teal? Uh, my blue stroke teal, uh, stroke almost grey, grey blue uh, jumper. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it looks and smells like a wine that um, is, uh, it doesn't smell like it's, it's gone over the top, but it smells like a wine that is mature now. Uh, there is a, a slight edge of browning to it, and when I come to smell it, the fruit flavours uh, it's lost uh, the youthful freshness and you're in the, this sort of uh, rounded, plummy middle age. A little bit of black currant still there, but it feels, it feels like a wine that is young, uh, sorry, the, the, a wine that is ready now. So I'll better, have a, better try it. And it's a strange one, that, because um, the fruit flavours are maturing, but then uh, the more you, you have it in your mouth, uh, that fruit is there and suddenly it disappears and you're left with this slightly... Um, not, not green tannin, but the, 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 the tannins are, are definitely there. Certainly not a wine I want to uh, sit and have by itself. I think if I had uh, a decent amount of protein with it, I'd, I wouldn't be complaining half as much. But um, as the, if I have a problem with it, yes, it's uh, it's that I think that, that I notice the skeleton uh, rather than... I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more flesh on those bones. So, okay. Let's see what the big brother's like. Uh, so this is Chateau Lagarde itself, 2010. Give this one a whirl. Well, quite a few differences here. First of all, colour. Uh, it looks, if you'd asked me for, just from the appearance, which was the younger wine, I would have picked this one. It's three years older, but it, it's more, still got more of that ruby red colour. Uh, then uh, aroma-wise, there is a fret more of freshness to the fruit. Uh, there's more new oak. Uh, but it's not new oak that's dominating it. Seven years on from uh, uh, from harvest, it's uh, it's perfectly in balance with uh, what you'd expect from a a wine like this. And it's just a bigger, richer, more voluptuous wine. Not so voluptuous that it's trying to uh, be over the top. It feels still feels like it's going to have that uh, refreshing, uh, good Bordeaux edge. But uh, um, a far yeah, it's 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 a major step up from the uh, uh, from the previous one rounder, richer, plumper, plummier, um, um, and I use the word sweet. It's got this sweetness of fruit and it's not, it's not a sweet wine, but uh, there is this extra layer of ripeness there. And um, yes, it's gone more into the blackberry than the, the blackcurrant. There was a little bit of cassis hovering in the background somewhere. Um, and in, I was talking before about the previous one about uh, uh, the skeleton uh, being perhaps too much for the flesh that was there. Here, it's a bigger skeleton, but there's more even more flesh on the bone. So it's nice balance in terms of um, readiness. The previous one was maybe, uh, I don't know, I'd like to have seen it uh, a year or two earlier. Here, um, everything seems in lovely balance. I very happily set into it now, but I'd also very happily set into it five years from now. It feels um, that, that there is this framework of tannin and that new oak that, um, yeah, it's, I think it's going to keep it in good condition for a good few years yet. I mean, I, I, I hesitate to say how long it's going to go going to last, but um, I, I would say any time in the next five years, certainly. Um, well stored, probably considerably longer than that, but... Um, Big step up. It's not hugely more in price. It's like a 50% uh, premium, uh, but it, for me, it's more than twice the wine. So uh, go get two bottles of this rather than three of that. See you soon.